Tiger Talk, heard before each Salem Tiger baseball game with Stan Stevens and Coach Tony Edwards. Tiger Talk is being brought to you by Flying W Boutique and Looking Glass Salon with Alicia Watson, Candy Mink, and myself, Katie Cardi. Now for Tiger Talk on KSMO Media. Welcome to Tiger Talk, Stan Stevens and Coach Tony Edwards. Coach of Salem Tigers, Willow Springs Bears met for a eclipse delayed game one day as Willow really couldn't get out of their area on uh, Monday. So they put that game on Tuesday, and what a ball game it was for the Salem Tigers. Come away with a big conference win. Coach, you had to be pleased. Yeah, I was. Uh, you know, Kane Boys came out and pitched a spectacular game. Uh, you know, a complete, uh, complete game, I believe 77 pitches. And um, had a uh, terrific game going through all the way through the seven. In fact, uh, you know, he had a no-hitter action through the seven. I wasn't even aware of it. That's how much I was into the game. But, uh, but yeah, we had, unfortunately, we had one hit uh, drop. Uh, and Corbin left and, uh, you know, kind of broke that up. But, uh, you know, a one-hit game um, by uh, Caden has been, you know, that's a spectacular performance on his part. And just a good job on our guys, you know, uh, you know, just kind of piecing the ball together and, and moving, moving runners when we needed to and, and uh, capitalizing and giving him some insurance. So, uh, yes, very, very pleased with the performance. When you look at that game, it is exactly, uh, well, I guess if you went to the Cosmos and prayed for a, a, a game that you could really be proud of with clutch hits, good fielding, good pitching, and good base running coach, you could probably take a picture of that game and put that right there in the Cosmos because you really got all of it in that game, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, that was something we as a team actually talked about just after that game ended. That that was probably the most complete game, um, just best well played game on our part um, all season. You know, like you said, uh, we hit the ball. Our pitching was spectacular. Um, you know, our fielding was good. So all around, we just played a good, solid baseball game against Willow, and you know, it, we were fortunate enough to come up with a win um, against those. And, and and you know, credit to Willow. I mean, those guys, um, you know, they have good ball clubs. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be a force to reckon with. You know, Coach Miller, he's a good coach. He's got the uh, right idea in place with the Bears, and uh, you know, they're they're gonna be a, a team to reckon with in the near future. You gotta just continue to really appreciate. Owen Hamilton, that middle of your lineup coach, he seems to come through with a big hit. Did it at Houston? Got a game winning hit. Came through with another big hit, driving a couple of runs. He actually had two big hits in the game. Caden Du Bois comes through late in the game with a two run single. Trey Richter with that single down the first base line to drive in another run to give you some insurance. Coach, you know, you really have to nod, uh, tip, tip the cap and nod your head to the great play uh, of the seniors, but also they're leading this team. And you really have to be happy about that because there's been times in the past our seniors played okay, but didn't really take the bull by the horns and it seems that this year these seniors mean business don't they yeah well, they certainly have and that was you know one thing that we addressed um before this season started stan that uh you know that we've had a lot of experience with these uh seniors this year and, and even our juniors and i said this is your time i go this is your team this is your opportunity and it's uh you know it's how you guys want to make the most of that opportunity is what's going to you know dictate the outcome of, of your season and uh you know they are. They're they're very. They were very excited from the get go. Um, I've seen a lot of maturity in our seniors. Um, a lot of good work ethic that I've been talking about since day one. And you know we're and it's showing. We're seeing good swings at the plate. You know our pitching has been really good. And just the leadership we're getting from those seniors right now is you know is amazing. And, and it's you know it's a it's a credit to those guys why we are. Uh, where we are right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm very pleased with uh, the way we're playing. 3-0 and in the SCA Conference. You have the Thayer Bobcats coming in today. Got all that rain yesterday, Coach. I'm sure the field's a little bit soggy out there, but you guys got it ready to go. This is a big game for the Salem Tigers because you really want to make sure you get this win and get over the 500 no matter mark, no matter what happens. But also, it's that catapult the next week when you got two key games at Mountain View and Mountain Grove. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, it's uh, we're kind of in a good spot right now with conference, and we just want to continue to keep playing good baseball. You know, keep the uh, you know to keep the uh, keep it rolling, and uh, you know, continue hitting the baseball like we have been. Uh, you know, they're you know they're always going to come at you with everything they got. Um, you know, they got a couple of uh, good pitchers. Uh, the Anderson kid's pretty good flamethrower, and, and uh, Pitts is a good pitcher as well. So, 
Yeah, it's something we're going to have to to be ready for. Uh, we're going to have to match the intensity and um, like we have been and uh, continue to play really uh, solid uh, baseball today against Bayer in order to uh, have some uh, success and a chance at the uh, SA Conference this year. All right, Coach. Well, the very best of luck today against the Thayer Bobcats. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, Stan. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Stay tuned. Tiger Baseball, it is next. Thank you, Stan. That's been Tiger Talk with Coach Tony Edwards, brought to you as a courtesy of the Looking Glass Salon and Flying W Boutique. Stay tuned. Salem Tiger Baseball is next. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center in Salem is here for all of your veterinary needs. From your house cat to a herd of cattle, Dr. Cunningham and her expert staff are here to help. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center is committed to providing your animals with the highest level of care and support. Schedule an appointment today for checkups, boarding, surgery, supplies, or even 24-7 emergency services for established clients. Stop by or call in today and get the veterinary care that your pets deserve. It's only because of our incredible sponsors that we're able to bring you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Some of these sponsors include United Country, Salem Realty, Babette Wells, Broker Owner. Stop by their office located at 605 South Main Street. New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more. On the Spot Auto Glass, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door. Welcome to this KSMO Media broadcast of Salem Tiger Baseball. Today's game is brought to you by KH Auto Supply, Salem Memorial Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance, Salem Memorial Clinic, Country Mark, The Bank of Salem, Napa, Uni Auto Supply, Town Screen LLC, Tax Masters, Town and Country Insurance, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust Manufacturing, Progressive Ozark Bank, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Mid Ozark Animal Health Center Incorporated, Southtown Furniture, Healthy Dent County, New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more, On the Spot Auto Glass, United Country Salem Realty, American Family Insurance, The Technology Junkyard, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door, LLC. And now, get ready for Salem Tiger Baseball. We welcome you to the Salem High School Baseball Field. It's time for SCA Baseball on KSMO Media. It's AM 1340, FM 95.7, and streaming on KSMORadio.com, KSMO Stream Facebook, and KSMO YouTube. A wonderful day. A little bit breezy as we take a look at the weather. And that weather being brought to you by Town Screen LLC. It's a very breezy day. That wind is blowing directly out to center field, and it is gusting as high as 30 miles an hour. We have a northwest breeze coming from right behind the press box, blowing out to center. 64 degrees, but that 20-mile-an-hour wind just might give a ball a little bit of assistance in heading toward the fence. Well, we hope you're going to enjoy the game today. Didn't know if we'd have this game today. Again, off to a little bit of a late start due to the wetness of the field, but uh, Clay Moody, athletic director, and uh, others in the, I'll say, groundskeeping, uh, were able to get out here, get the job done, and did a fantastic job of getting this field playable for this SCA game today. We have Scott Schultz with us today. He's going to be our guest. Scott, you can say hello. Absolutely. Yeah. Love to be here. This is exciting. Yeah. Scott is going to pinch hit for me next week on Tuesday. and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing that game because I'm going to be in Vegas, but I'm going to tune in <laughs> just, to, just to hear it. So it should be a lot of fun. But uh, we, we really enjoy it and having you here, and thank you again for helping out. We really do appreciate that. No, there is nothing better than, than spring baseball. It just It's a beautiful time. The field's in good shape, and uh, they're ready to play. So I'm excited to watch this. So both of the coaches are out there talking to the umpires today. Salem comes in with a 7-2 and record overall. They're 3-0 and in the SCA, and they're coming off that 5 nothing win over Willow Springs on Tuesday. And a great, great effort by the Salem Tigers. All around, you heard in Tiger Talk, uh, probably one of the, the best games I've seen Salem Tigers play in a few years. The fielding was slick. The pitching was good. The hitting was timely. Uh, you get all that put together, and you get a 5 nothing win, and you look at Caden Dubois throwing a 6-2 and third inning no-hitter just to lose to a two out in the seventh inning, top of the seventh. It's heartbreaking, but for Caden, 
You know, he'll take the win. I'll, anybody will tell you, I'd love to have that no-hitter, but I'll take the win. It's better for the team. And so the Tigers are on a bit of a roll. They'll be at Waynesville tomorrow. We'll not have that broadcast tomorrow due to prior commitments. But, uh, again, on Monday we'll not have that game again due to prior commitments from Mountain View. So hopefully uh, we'll get back on track here as a little time off. But nonetheless, we, uh, we really appreciate all of you joining us here on KSMO. And we'll give you the starting lineups for the Thayer Bobcats. It'll be Colton Mills on the mound. He'll be leading off, and he will be their pitcher for today. Easton Pitts, he'll be in center field batting second. And Devin Harrington at shortstop bats third. It will be Cooper Clark. He'll be playing third base and batting in the cleanup spot. Doing the catching today is Mason Thornton. Brendan Spencer will be in right field, but he'll be PA, a DH4 by Don Boyce. At first base, Caleb Tipton. Dawson Harris will be in left field. He'll be batting eighth, and it will be Carter Nicholson playing second base, and he will bat in the ninth spot. For the Salem Tigers, kind of basically the order they've been in now here for a while. And the Salem Tigers starting lineup brought to you by Your World today. Trey Richter will be leading off. He'll be playing second base. Cade Moody in center field will be batting second. Caden Dubois will be at shortstop. He'll be batting third. Owen Hamilton, who's got some big key hits in the games against Houston. Now Willow Springs on Tuesday. He'll be in a cleanup spot. He'll be playing first base. Corby Ball will be out in left field. He'll be batting in the fifth slot. Hayden Sanders doing the catching today. He'll be batting sixth. It will be Cash Howard batting seventh. Cash, a little bit of a slump right now. He's got a little funk. He'll come out of it. He's a good enough hitter. And then Blake Edwards will be on the mound today batting eighth. Roy Stevens will be at third base. He'll be batting in the number nine slot. So the Tigers, that pretty much is the same defense we saw the other day. So besides Caden playing uh, third base, etc. So we'll just watch and start, see how that works out with uh, Du Bois at shortstop instead of being on the mound. Trey Richter was at shortstop the other day. And we had uh, Edwards over second base, and he's pitching today. So just a couple of minor changes from that starting lineup the other day. And we uh, are getting the introductions of the Thayer Bobcats. Coach Pitts has done a great job. This is a very young team. They have had quite a few rainouts. And the way the Salem Tigers play, you know, right now, they are still trying to make up a couple of games that they have not been able to get in due to the weather. But, but Scott, you know as well as I do from when Jordan played, baseball is a very short season. You get a few rainouts, and all of a sudden you're backed up with game after game after game after game. Yeah, it seems to, that uh, it just gets more intense as the season goes on. I mean, the games back up, they get closer together. The pitching rotations get tougher and tougher to find, and those pitch counts become more important. And then, uh, you know, you've got, uh, uh, you know, then, then the intensity of every game turns up as you get closer to district play. So, uh, yeah, the, these boys get under more pressure as the season goes on. And the thing is, too, they've even changed the pitch counts from when Jordan was playing. They made, they've reduced them for freshmen and sophomores. They limit them a certain amount for a week. And so that's all they can throw. Wow. And then yeah, that's, that's it. Otherwise, the coaches are the ones that get penalized if they exceed the pitch limit. So a lot of different things have gone on in high school baseball over the years. And, you know, it's that's just – but it's still the, – the beauty of the game is still there. you still got to hit, still got to pitch, run, and throw. Yep. And these, these boys have worked their whole lives. I mean, they've done the travel ball. They've, they've come up through all that. They've, they, they've worked their, their tails off to get to this point to enjoy this part of the year. And, uh, you know, especially for, uh, you know, for those that's their senior year, I mean, there's just something special about a group of boys playing ball together for, for their entire careers. Absolutely. Well, we're about ready to – get the national anthem as the rest of the Tigers get out there as they've been introduced by Athletic Director Clay Walker. We're going to take it. Clay Walker. Clay Moody. <laughs> We're going to take a 90-second break and come back. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Progressive Ozark Bank's debit card is now ready for your smartwatch or phone. It's compatible with Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay. Just upload it to your mobile wallet and go. No more fumbling to find your card when you're in a hurry. Just tap and pay. Simple, easy, and secure. That's the progress of local banking. Progressive Ozark Bank. FDIC insured. Where people matter. 
Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. Proud to support the Salem community, they're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. Welcome back to Salem High School Baseball Field Complex. Put that down there, it's five. Very good. So let's give you the starting lineup and the position players. Blake Edwards on the hill. He'll be caught today by Hayden Sanders. That's today's battery. Roy Stevens at third base. It'll be Caden Dubois at shortstop. Trey Richter at second. Owen Hamilton at first base. Out in right field, Cash Howard. Kane Moody will patrol center. And in left field, it's Corby Ball. About ready to get this one underway, Salem Tigers. For those on the video side, they're wearing their white pants. They have their white caps on top of their jerseys, which are Carolina blue. They have the stripe that goes right under the word Salem and the white numbers on the back. For the Thayer Bobcats, they have their gray uniforms trimmed in. Uh, I still can't think of what that green is. I call it <laughs> Thayer green. I have no clue what that is. Anyway, nonetheless, they have the pinstripe on the uh, pant and on the shirt. And the numbers are, and letters, by the way, are in, we'll call it the Thayer green. They yeah. told me what that was down at Thayer, and I cannot remember what it is. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you know, if we get ready to get started here, watching that flag out there, it is blowing straight away from us. But then every now and then it will turn and, and go 90 directions east or west. So yeah. it's going to be interesting to, to watch these as we, we kick off the first pitch here. Time of the first inning brought to you by Jonas Schaefer, American Family Insurance in the Crossroads. Give him a call if you have any questions about insurance, 729-5165. That's Jonas Schaefer, American Family Insurance. First pitch is in the dirt. And off the shin guard of Hayden Sanders, ball one. We're underway here on a great afternoon, but as Scott just mentioned, a little, just a little bit breezy. Pitch comes in. That's on the inside corner, but not called a strike. Just, I guess, a shade off. It was a very good pitch by Blake Edwards. Edwards getting the start today. Facing Colton Mills, and Mills again takes one inside. Yeah, I think that that win, he's throwing straight into that wind. I think that's getting him a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a challenge there right off the start. But uh, he, he'll figure it out. Yes, he will. Pitch there comes we. in, and that's right down the middle yep. for a strike. The, the ball will definitely change directions in this wind, especially curveballs. They'll hang a little bit. And the pitch comes in, a pop fly down the left side. That ball's going to blow back, and a good job by Du Bois, and he hangs on. Wow, what a catch, what a catch. Caden Dubois racing into the short left field. That's where the little divot is when they replace the field. It kind of goes downhill there. He went downhill, caught the ball, rolled over, and hung on. Heck of a catch by Caden Dubois. And that ball, by the way, was blown back 
when you Scott, you were watching that ball. Yep. It was normally would twist to the left side. And that blew back fair. Yeah, it it just get, set up there and just just hung back just a little bit. It, it really was the you can get to get the feel that wind's going to be a be a factor today. So Easton Pitts will stand in. Pitts playing center field today takes a fastball high. Yeah, that wind is going to play a little havoc out there, especially any high hit fly balls. You can just barely, well, I guess you could basically say you're barely going to be able to take a position and stand there. <laughs> yeah, there's not going to be a routine play out there in the outfield this no, afternoon, sir. especially during one of those gusts. So it's going to be a fun game to watch and, uh, and see which one of these uh, handles that adversity the best. Two on account to Pitts. That's in for a strike as Edwards paints the outside corner. Umpire strike zone today looks a little tight, at least to start the game. Tigers hurler looks back, checks, and throws it back in. A little off-speed pitch as Pitts out in front. The Pitts name in Thayer is not an unusual one. There's a lot of them, Coach Pitts, and we've seen them for the last 35 years. So there's a plenty of them there. That ball's low and away. Three and two to count. To Easton Pitts, Tigers straight away do give a little bit of right center to this hitter. But without wind gusting out there, anything could be an adventure. The pitch comes in. Got him. Strike three call right on the outside edge, and Pitts goes down on strikes. Yeah, and he knew it too, boy. He did a fantastic job. Just painted that outside corner. So uh, best, pitch he's, best, pitch, best pitch he's thrown all day. And we're just getting started. We have a lot more good pitches yet to go. Great afternoon for baseball. Glad to have you along with us here on KSMO Media. As Harrington stands in, Devin takes a strike. Nice little curveball there. He's starting to get his confidence to settle down now a little bit. Uh, putting that K up on the board is going to get him started and rolling here. Figuring out the wind and what it's going to do to his pitches. The 0-1 comes home. It'll pop fly into right field. And that's trouble. And just over oh. the glove of Trey Richter, he kept fighting it and fighting it, but that ball just eluded his glove for a two-out single. One of those balls that's hitting that Bermuda Triangle between first base, second base, and left uh, right field. Of course, Owen Hamilton not going to get out there in time, so Richter and Howard had to try and make that decision, and neither were going to be able to get that one. So it will be Cooper Clark standing in. He's their first baseman, right-handed batter. He takes one up and in, ball one with a fastball. Clark is a pretty good-sized right-handed batter standing in the batter's box. I'll venture to say he probably plays football. <laughs> Pitch to Clark is low and yep. away. Nice scoop by Very, Hayden Sanders. Yeah, good save, good save there on the, uh, by the catcher. Hayden's been doing this now four years. Started out as a freshman. And he has really worked at his craft. He's done a good job. Men are going, going. And a pop-up to the right side again. Howard coming in. Richter going out. And Richter hangs on to this one and makes the catch as he was fighting that wind. And he was able to hang on to it. So down go the Thayer Bobcats. No runs, one hit. No errors, one left. We played a half an inning. The Thayer Bobcats, nothing. Salem coming to bat. Back in a minute, it's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Southtown, where the bargains are, we've got everything from furniture to appliances, quality floor covering. We won't be undersold, you'll see. To you, that is our guarantee. Southtown Furniture, where the bargains are. Your legacy, protect it. Prosper and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573 453 2529. <laughs> Oh, welcome back. Bottom of the first inning. Bottom of the first brought to you by your friends, Willie Strader, Farm Bureau Insurance. Do you know if you got the right coverage? Well, if you don't, 
you may need to give Willie a call. Whether it be a brand new car, maybe an improvement to your home, or maybe you've invested in that tractor or other farm implements, make sure you've got the right coverage and come by and see Willie, 1414 West Scenic Rouge Boulevard, or call him, 729-4941. Trey Richter, Caden Moody, Caden Dubois to lead it off for the Salem Tigers against Colton Mills. Mills, right-hander. Yeah, you gonna try and yep. read that scratch? <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, looks like Trey was one for four last uh, last game. So, uh, you know, uh, good two fifty there, and we'll see if we can we can get him up here and get him started and ready to go and and, and get the, get the Tigers off to a good start. Let's uh, let's get the Tigers started and uh, uh, you know get these boys back on their heels a little bit uh, on the Thayer side and see if we can we can put some some runners down the line. Trey Richter's base hit a key one in the sixth inning, Scott, to brought in a run. That actually, at that time, made it a three-run lead for the Salem Tigers. They had a two-nothing lead, but you know, you never know. All it takes is a, a hit, and a, you know, somebody get one up in the air, and it goes out of the ballpark, tie the game. But the Tigers got three in the bottom of the sixth, and that hit by Richter right down the first base line drove in that third run, a key run, an insurance run. Tigers were glad to get. He'll lead it off. Trey has a home run this year down in Ellington. As the pitch comes home, fastball up and away, ball one. Mills being caught by Thornton. As Mason Thornton is the catcher and his brother, uh, he has a brother on the team as well, but he's not playing today. You've got a uh, lot, of, lot of names that might sound familiar from Thayer that you heard in football or basketball. We go through those names today. And we'll give you their defense here in just a moment. Pitch comes in, a swing and a miss, a good cut by Richter. And at shortstop, Devin Harrington. Harrington plays basketball. He's a very, very good player. And Cooper Clark at third base. First base, you've got Tipton playing. Caleb, does, he's a big boy as well. And there's a pop-up on the infield. You better run, Trey. Yep. You never know. And that ball caught by Mills. Got it right off the end of the bat. Good off-speed pitch by Mills. And Richter out in front. Yeah, he was out in front of that one. Just got off the end of it there, and uh, you know, uh, like I say, that was a, that was a high pop up. But man, just uh, you want to make sure there's there's nothing routine today. Not there's nothing thing. routine today. That that pitcher took two steps to the left and two steps to the right before he finally caught the ball. Carter Nicholson at second base, fourth there as that rounds out their infield, left field. You have Harris out in, in left field, and Dawson is very shallow right now for Moody. And that pop up is going to stay by the Salem Tiger bench. It blows back to the oh. shortstop, and Harrington can't field it. It goes yeah. right through the breadbasket. That ball was probably going to go out of play and blew back almost 25 feet. Yeah, they all ran over the fence and had to turn it back to the infield. So, uh, you know, like I say, nothing routine. Uh, nothing routine. So uh, run everything, boys. And that will be an error on Harrington because he was right there, had that ball in his breadbasket. He could not hang on. And let's hope Cade can make him pay on that one. 0-1 oh the count. We'll give you the outfield starters here in just a second. As the pitch from Mills comes home. That's a strike right down the middle with a fastball. Easton Pitts, he's out in center field. He's the anchor out there. And I mentioned Dawson Harris in left field. He's playing pretty shallow with that wind blowing out. And now they give Moody all of left center. The pitch, that's high. And in right field, over there is... Uh, Brendan Spencer. But very shallow and left considering that wind is just gusting out to right center right now. Let's hope Caden can get one up there. Let's see how far he can run. The pitch comes home. There's a and fly ball to left field, and that's going to burn that young man. He dives for it, but he's not going to get it. Moody makes the second base with a double. Yeah, he'd been playing a little bit deeper. Could have come in on that ball, let the wind blow it to him instead of away from him. That makes a big difference, Scott. Yeah, absolutely. He was uh, he was in trouble from the from the crack of the bat. You and I were both sitting there looking where he was playing at. So a one out double by Caden Moody and Caden Dubois will stand in. I I'm pretty sure that he thought that the wind would blow it back to him, but the wind's just helping it blow out further deeper into the field, and knocking it down a little bit in that case because the ball, if it is hooking. It's getting knocked down. Moody with a decent lead at second base. Harrington trying to keep him close. As the pitch comes in from Mills, that's in the dirt, gets away from the catcher, goes back to the screen on a wild pitch. 
Not much Thornton can do on that one. That's a 59-foot fastball, and the ball hit, skipped off his shin guard, and Moody's down at third base with one out. This is where the Tigers have done much better this year, but they have still stranded quite a few gentlemen at third base with less than two out. Du Bois has done pretty good, and he takes another fastball this time. It's high. And a good job of, of the Tigers to get somebody on base and, and get this pitcher a little bit distracted and see if, you know, he's looking straight at him. I mean, uh, the right-handed pitcher looking straight at third base. He's he's a little distracted. So Mills brings in a chopper foul towards the first base side, a third base side, and a first baseman, Owen Hamilton, fielded that with his glove hand for his friend there in the batter's box and threw it back. 2-1 to count. We're in the first inning. No score. The pitch comes home. It's a low fastball. 3-1. and one. So let's, let's, get, uh, let's get one more on base and see if we can uh, add some more pressure to these, to these boys. Really leaving a ton of room open in left center field. Well, they are. For Du Bois. I'm really not sure why Pitts is so far in right center. Pitch coming to Du Bois. A swing and a miss on a high fastball. Mills put a little extra giddy up on that pitch. It sailed up inside to Caden Du Bois. He tried to make contact, couldn't follow it off. He chokes up a little bit here with a two strike count. Just wanted to make contact. Infield halfway for there. The pitch comes home. Low and away, ball four. And two on with one out for the Salem Tigers and Owen Hamilton. You know, and that's where it comes into, Stan. We talked about earlier, you know, the, those pitch counts. I mean, we're, we're down to number four batter and, uh, and uh, you know, with uh, those pitch counts just, just creeping up a little bit. And uh, as uh, these boys want to talk about it for just a second. So the catcher for Thayer is out there. Thorne kind of trying to give the signal what they want to do on the infield as probably well as the outfield. But again, Scott, I'm just amazed how far Pitts is over in, in right center. Now he kind of takes a couple of steps back. Now Owen hits that ball a lot toward right center, but, man, that's a big old gap. And that fastball right on the outside corner for a strike knee high. Owen likes to go right up the middle, left center, right center. That's his strength, not usually down the lines. Strong right-handed batter. Pitch comes in from Mills. That's high. Two yeah, boys with a safe lead at first. Go ahead. Yeah, they're they're still you know they're they've moved back over towards center a little bit, but there's still a, a lot of real estate left to be had out there just over the just over the shortstop's head. Hamilton waits. The pitch comes in inside and low. Owen has a good eye. He gets a lot of walks and protects the plate pretty well. Again, he has had some key hits including a key double in Houston that drove in two runs that gave the Tigers the lead in that game. The pitch outside and high with a fastball, and it's 3-1. and one. And It was a beautiful hit that in Houston when Owen hit it because I'll tell you what, Tigers weren't getting much of anything done that game, <laughs> and when he hit it, that ball is perfectly gapped. That ball's high again, two walks in a row, and it loads the bases for the Salem Tigers for Corby Ball. All right. Well, Salem threatening here with the bases loaded, only one out. They're still, probably I still have to call them halfway. They're not really in on the grass. They're about a two steps back. But they really can only come home because they're too far away from the base to look like they're going to try and turn two. So the pitch comes to ball. That's a fastball for a strike. Well, Mills finding himself in a pickle here in this first inning. Well, it's a good experience for the young man. I mean, there's nothing tougher than, than facing this right here, so. Uh, Pitched the ball and a mm. swing and a miss on one on the inside half of the plate. Corby swung right through that pitch. Yeah, good good swing by him. 0-2, uh, two, two strikes, so uh, make contact and see what happens. Like I said, they're, they're in, so it wouldn't take much to get it past the infield. Pitch. That's a strike on the outside corner, and he called him out. I did not see him call that first yeah. pitch a strike, but ball's caught looking, and we talked about runners at – for, uh, first, second, third with nobody out or one out and getting that runner in. And Corby took a fastball right there, and he's punched out. Yeah, so now we're depending on the bats. Got to get the hit going. Hayden Sanders will stand in. He takes one outside. 
wind just whipping. We're talking yeah. 30 to 35 mile an hour winds. That flag is getting ripped up out of that <laughs> hole. At third base, Moody. Du Bois at second. Hamilton at first, the pitch. Low and away, ball two to Sanders. Hayden has a home run this year. Well, it should be nice to see him get one, get a hold of one and get in the jet stream here. Uh, let that let that thing fly for a ways. Let the wind take it if you need to. The pitch comes in, a swing and a miss. He was trying to. <laughs> I think he heard you, Scott. He had the same idea we did. Yeah, he wanted to get a little bit of elevation on that one. Took a hard cut, missed it. Two and one to count. We are in the bottom of the first inning. Still no score. Tigers threatening. No, the base is loaded. Two out. Colt Mills looks, checks, brings it way high. Good play made by Thornton, the catcher. He had to reach up there and snare that one in the web. Yeah, that one probably saved him a run. That would have been, uh, no tell where that one would have bounced to as, as high as it was. Hits that screen back there and goes anywhere. Three and one to count. Sanders right now looking for the cripple pitch. Here it comes, and a high fly foul way out of play. That one's not going to blow back. No, he was way ahead of that one. He yeah. was. Took a little something off, and Hayden got in front. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded. Fun time to play baseball. It is. It is. Sanders waits. Mills trying to get out of this mess. Brings it. And another high foul way out of play. That probably would have been ball four. Too close to take. Yeah, I'd like to see these boys taking off on these on these two strike counts with two outs. They they need to be running because we get a little bloop hit, which is very possible, and uh, you know they can they can be half a base farther ahead than they were when they started. That's exactly right. Three two count. You can get that nice running lead, and they are going to pitch a foul again at the Ooh. plate. Hayden missed his pitch there. Yeah, got contact with it though. Yeah. Uh, stayed alive, and uh, maybe you can get another one. Yeah, he kind of tapping his shoes. A little bit disappointed by the look on his face when he missed that one. Fouled it back. It's still three and two. You're making this pitcher work a lot. Again, we talk about those pitch counts. You can get 20, 25, 30 pitches in high school and in an inning, and you're going to have that guy out of the game in the fourth inning. Here comes the pitch. A swing and a miss. He struck him out. Took a little something off. And Sanders... Tried to golf it and went down after it. He did not get it, and he strikes out. No runs on one hit, one error, three left. We've now played a full inning. No score between Thayer and Salem. We'll come back in a minute. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent cameron Irway in salem today like a good neighbor state farm is there with tax season fast approaching you might have some questions that you need answered if so give the tax masters a call they have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. Come and see Jackie or Beth at Taxmasters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. No score at the top of the second inning we go and it is Blake Edwards back to the hill. He will be facing Thornton, Boyce, and Tipton in the Thayer lineup. That's five, six, and seven in their hitting lineup. As the Tigers had a chance there in that bottom of the first, could not get that run across. Timeout. 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 <laughs> no. Wind is not going to take a timeout today. You know it's going to be there the whole game. But so is American Family Insurance. You can call Jonah Schaefer for insurance no matter what the time is that you get something, maybe an improvement to your home. We talk about buying a new car. Maybe it's a new addition to your family. Make sure you got the proper insurance. Call Jonah at 729-5165 at the Crossroads Shopping Center. First pitch by Edwards. Sales outside. Ball one. 
Yeah, he spent too much time sitting over there and watching them, watching them boys run around the bases. He needs to get loosened back up again. Yeah, he was trying to get up there and bat himself. And there's a pop fly foul off to the right. That might blow back. Oh, uh, about, about four feet foul, just four feet over the fence. Hamilton took a look. He, he did not give up on that one. He got over there just in case. Did a good job chasing all the way to the fence. Owen playing first base. We gave you the defense for the Salem Tigers earlier, and they're playing straight away for this hitter. Mason Thornton, the pitch, a little bit low. Two and one on this Thursday afternoon. Glad to have you aboard. Plenty of sunshine, a few intermittent clouds. Nice day. Fastball outside. Mm, well, that's close, just, just outside. And again, uh, you know, just a compliment to the to the team and to the coaches and the staff here at the R80 School District. The the, the field's in really good shape as uh, we get the next pitch here. And there's a little fly ball down the right field side. Howard over that ball's going to curve. Very and he got it. Good catch. Player, good catch. It. Yeah, he was right there on the line. So Thornton flies out to right, and standing in, Don Boyce will be the DH today. He wears number 13. No superstition there. You know, sitting here looking down that line, you can just watch that ball come right back into play. I mean, as, as it passed first base, it just made a nice little left-hand curve, come right back to him. He was headed for it. And uh, look routine, but I know it wasn't. No, and you know as well as I do, we, we've seen it in the past. You've seen it when Jordan played. You get to places like Mountain Grove, and that ball just it swirls. That wind swirls. And so it starts out over here, and then it turns and goes another way. <laughs> And so not too much here at Salem. It's pretty much a direct line. Whatever is going to come, it stays that way. Because we're not in a hole here. We're kind of in the middle on the way up a hill. And the 2-0 pitch comes in. A grounder to first. Owen Hamilton has it and steps on the All back. Right. Three unassisted. Two down for Tipton. Caleb will stand in. He's their first baseman today. Another big lad. Another big lad. Another big lad. I have a feeling this probably isn't his only his only sport either. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much you're, you're correct. Pass from the left side, facing Edwards, the right-hander. Cade Moody plays him to pull just a little bit, so the Tigers open up somewhat of a gap out in left center field. Blake Edwards gets the sign from Sanders, and he's ready to bring it home. And it comes in. There's a swing and a miss. Ooh, good pitch. Had him way out in front. He was way out in front of that one. Took something off on that one. It's always effective when you're looking for the express and you get the local. <laughs> always makes a difference. Edwards brings in the next. Swing and a miss. That a little bit of a tailing fastball there. Really good pitch. Boy, he's looking comfortable now. That, that first batter, he looked a little uncomfortable out there in that wind today, but he's really settling down and, and – he, he's pitching very well. Well, like you said, he'll figure it out, and the pitch comes in. Strike three Good call. Nice pitch. He just let it go right down the middle, and Tipton just caught looking for something else. Second strikeout for Edwards down in order. Goes to Thayer Bobcats, one, two, three. We go to the bottom of the second inning. We have no score. We'll be back in one minute. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Terrell Complete Auto Care is a full-service auto repair center in Salem. They offer full-service oil changes as well as $2 discounts on Tuesdays for all ladies, and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Plus, Terrell Complete Auto Care can take care of all your auto and diesel repair needs. They offer free pickup and delivery in town. James and Sheena and the staff of Terrell Complete Auto Care are proud to support the Salem Tigers. This is Mike Elliott from Town & Country Insurance. As an independent agent, we shop many different companies, allowing us to find the best value for our clients. Town & Country Insurance has been serving South Central Missouri since 1963. We have offices in Salem, Rolla, Licking, and Mountain Grove, and we welcome an opportunity to show you what we can do for you. Stop by 400 West Scenic River Boulevard, located inside the Town & Country Bank, or you can call our office at 729-6624. Hey, we always like to thank the sponsors that make it possible for us to bring you Salem Tiger Athletics and, of course, our activities like our parades, etc. Like Melvin Motors and more out there at 120 Route W here in Salem. Find out more about Melvin Motors and more with a simple phone call, 
338-2917. Melvin Motors and more, a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. It is the bottom of the second. Brought to you by Willie Strader, your Farm Bureau Insurance agent right here in town. Give him a buzz if you have a question or two. That number is 729-4941. Be it for your farm, tractor, maybe life insurance. There's a number of different types of insurance policies. Call Willie today. Willie Strader, Farm Bureau Insurance. And after the first pitch, Cash Howard uh, tapped a little a little foul ball down the first baseline as he bats from the left side, getting ready for uh, pitch number two. And Taking that one, a low. That one's a little bit low. Cash Howard last year, Scott struggled a little bit and then found that stroke up the middle in the left field. He started out the year doing that and has struggled in the last two or three games. Just just missing it. There's a the line drive oh. right at the second baseman. That was a much better stroke. He hit it hard, but right at the second baseman, Carter Nicholson, who made the catch. Yep, centered it up on the barrel and just, just you know, there's some sometimes you hit right at the guy. You know, four feet left, four feet right, and he's got a base hit, and he's standing down there uh, getting high five. So, uh, good stroke by Cash. Ball like that, that wind's not going to affect nope. it whatsoever. Blake Edwards stands in. Pitch coming to Blake. Fastball outside corner for a strike. Got guys that don't believe in superstitions. 13 <laughs> on both sides. You got 13s. Edwards waits. Here it comes. Ground ball up the middle towards Nick, uh, towards the shortstop, not Nicholson, but Harrington, and he throws him out. Nicholson's over there at second. <laughs> Good that, to see. Good to see these boys. I mean, that, and even both of them, they've made good contact. I mean, they've been hit them on the barrels. They just, you know, hit the ground right at him and, and hit the line drive uh, right to the second baseman. So, um, we're getting the bat on the ball good, and and uh, we'll find the holes. They will come. The old adage, Scott, make them feel the ball. And if they can do that cleanly and get you out, more power to them. But if you stand there and take strike three, you don't have a chance. Don't have a chance. Yeah. Roy Stevens in takes a strike. Roy waits. The next one comes in. That's high. Mills has set down the first two here in this second inning after struggling in that first inning. He pitched out of it, but he had to throw a lot of pitches. Pitch comes in. A pop-up. Pop-up. Where is that going to go? And caught there by the second baseman, Nicholson, and that retires the side. Salem Tigers go down one, two, three in the second inning, and we play two full here at Salem. Our score. They are nothing. Salem nothing. Back in one minute. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. No matter what, every morning, farmers go to work doing what needs done. But work is unforgiving. The days are long. Real long. They nurture. They grow. They harvest. When the day is done, sell the fruits of your labor to your neighbors on Town Screen. <laughs> it's only because of our incredible sponsors that we're able to bring you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Some of these sponsors include New Life Auto, Tater's Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more, On the Spot Auto Glass, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door. Be sure to thank these sponsors the next time you see them for bringing you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. To the top of the third inning we go, and it's brought to you by Jonas Schaefer, your American family insurance agent. You know, one thing is always nice to know when you get insurance to, is to make sure that you think of everything. And I know you just can't. If you're a new married couple, you're not going to be able to think of everything. Or if you're raising a family, you can't think of everything. Remember, that's why Jonah's there. He can answer the questions you might have about insurance and make sure you're covered correctly. Jonah Schaefer, your American Family Insurance agent in the Crossroads Shopping Center. Don't forget another great sponsor, On the Spot Glass. We always like it because they pick the nice name that makes it easy to remember them because they repair your glass or replace it on the spot. On the spot glass, give them a call. Get that glass replaced if you have a windshield issue or maybe even a back window, 247 3608 on the spot glass. Proud supporter, your Salem Tigers. It will be Mr. Dawson Harris, the left fielder, to lead it off, followed by Carter Nicholson and then Colton Mills, their pitcher. Here in the third inning, fastball outside. Blake Edwards gets the start today. 
Caden Dubois had that start Tuesday. One hitter for Caden. He's got a five inning no hitter and a one hitter. So he has pitched well this year. That swing and a miss as Harris kind of just waved at that one. It was breaking away from him. Great pitch. Uh, just, a, just a touch on the outside with, with that little break to it. And, uh, you know, good movement on there as, as, uh, as he takes the ball right now. Edwards comes back with virtually the same pitch, but he does not chase. Two on pitch coming home. There's a ground ball to second, taken there by Trey Richter. Lots of time, throws him out. 4 3 on the put out, one down here in this third inning. Easy out there right off the end of the, right off the, end of the bat, just a little slow dribbler there to the second baseman, and, uh, and that's what you want to see. If they're making contact, you want it to be light and smooth like that. So, uh, again, good pitching. Carter Nicholson will stand in. Carter, bats on the right side. Crowds that play, wiggles that bat over his right shoulder as the pitch comes in, a swing and a miss. He was up there and thought he saw the pitch he wanted, and the bottom fell out of it. <laughs> kind of did. Just dropped down. Stevens about a step in front of the bag at third. As the pitch comes in, that's in the dirt off of Sanders, off to the side. One out here, top of the third inning. Sanders will be at Waynesville tomorrow, 430. That game will not be on KSMO due to a prior commitment. One that really didn't have a choice in. Pitch comes in, a swing and a miss as we have to host a non-newlywed game tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be interesting, too. And, and that will be interesting fun. as well. It is fun. But, it again, it takes kind of away from my job. <laughs> swing and a miss. Right, he good struck job. him out. Yep. That's strikeout number three for Edwards. So anyway, kind of a family commitment there. I mean, not much you can say about that. Ah, you got to have fun. We're, we're going to enjoy. We're going to enjoy that. Stand, oh, that'll so. be good. I, I do enjoy it. Last year we had some issues with microphones. But that's all corrected now. We're not going to let that happen again. So, standing in his mills, he's going to bat for his second time up. The first time up, he popped out to Caden Dubois, who made an outstanding play, trying to fight the wind and going down the hill and making that catch over his shoulder. Pitches up and in, ball one. Colt Mills doing the pitching today. From the left side, just missed outside. Hayden Sanders tried to frame that for the umpire, saying, look, this is where it is. Didn't bite, though, didn't bite. Uh, he did not. 2-0 comes home. Right, That's there you right go. down the middle. Even when Edwards gets behind 2 nothing, he still makes it a good pitch. It's yep. not just a get get me over fastball. There's a, pat, a little bit of a fastball that kind of carried away to the outside edge. 3-1 to count to Mills. Edwards has given up a hit in this game. He has struck out three. Two out here. We are in the top of the third inning. And the 3-1, and there's a foul back to the fence. Well, got, a, got a full count now, so uh, money's on the line. We'll see what uh, see what the call is from the catcher and the pitcher. And uh, if this young man can do anything with it, hopefully we'll have a nice little swing and miss and uh, go pick the sticks up again. There we go. Three and two to count. Two down. Edwards brings it. That's high with a fastball. His first walk. And Easton Pitts will stand in. You just watch the fence and stuff move with the wind, <laughs> and you're watching the light standards buckle a little bit. So you know that that wind is blowing hard out there. And I don't have to look at the flag, but you can just see by the fence itself. Yeah, you can sit here where I'm – from my perspective, I can look right down that, that, that right field fence line, and, and the whole thing just – it's just in waves down through there. So it's uh, – uh, Pitts fouls this one off to the right side. It's going to – Fall out of play. That ball normally would be way down the <laughs> hill, and it failed about five feet outside the fence. Yeah, I'm not sure that uh, that last week that wouldn't have been on the highway. So, um, just really amazing the the push it's giving them. So, yeah, we've had a few gusts here. I was watching the trees buckle a little bit, so you know that we're probably getting that 35 to 40 mile an hour gust. And boy, that will definitely affect the flight of a ball. There's no doubt about that. Throw to first base is Mills is back. Pitt stand in. He struck out his first time up. He was actually called out on strikes. 
Salem in their third will have the top of the order. Richter, Moody, and Dubois. No score. The pitch comes in. A swing and a miss. It's nice. 0 2. Nice pitch. Took a little something off. That change in speed, Scott, doesn't sound like much, one or two or three miles an hour, but when you're gauging somebody's normal cadence and normal speed, you're that little too far out in front. You can't stop that bat. Can't stop it. Pitch comes I got him. Strike three call. He got him again. Pitch right at the knees and give that uh, give that man a cigar for his strikeout. Four strikeouts now in the game for Edwards and no runs, no hits, a walk, one man left. We've now played two and a half to the bottom of the third we go. There is no score. Back in one minute, it's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Sorry, Dad. Sure, you could get him a new car. You could also light a pile of money on fire. Because as long as Mr. It Wasn't My Fault takes the wheel on occasion, maintaining this car is your best option. So keep it running longer, stronger, Sorry. with quality parts and a whole lot of Napa know-how. Dad, where are you going? Save on everyday items with digital coupons at Town & Country Supermarkets. It's easy. Download the Town & Country Markets app and browse through a variety of digital coupons available. Then clip them to your account. You can also clip digital coupons online at tcmarkets.com. Shop in the store for your favorite items, then tell us your phone number at checkout, and the digital coupons will be deducted from your purchase automatically. Scan this QR code to learn more and start saving more today. Trey Richter lead off. We're in the third inning. Bottom of the third brought to you by, who have we brought you by? Willie Strader, Farm Bureau Insurance. You know, Willie's been around a while. He's a native Salemite. And, of course, you can drop by and talk with him in his office, 1414 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. As the pitch comes to Richter, he grounds there we it to go. the right side. Nobody covering first base. Can he get there? Yes, he does. Good hustle, good hustle. Tipped in their first baseman, went after it. That was a mistake because nobody covered first base. Mills never moved, and that will be an infield single for Richter. Yeah, there there was a, a you know, and that's the importance, of that, and that's what you see in a young team. You see mistakes like that where the pitcher's sitting there watching the play and all of a sudden realize, I should have been there. Yeah, like, oh, there, there's usually a term that follows that O. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> and usually it's coming two seconds too late. <laughs> Cade Moody stands in. He doubled his first time up. Shows bunt, pulls it back. And Richter's going to steal second. Right. And have caught off the bag. And then he just turned around and reversed and went back the other way. He gets the stolen base. So Richter was really venturing off far off the bag, waiting for Moody to bunt it because Caden's a good bunter. He couldn't bunt that pitch if he wanted to. And then Richter got caught off the bag, but the throw down to first base allowed him to take off for second. He did. Beats the throw. It's a stolen base. Now man in scoring position. Nobody out. Pitch to Moody. There's a high pop fly in the left field. It's going to keep carrying and keep carrying and keep carrying. And it's over the head of the left fielder. Run's going to score. And that'll be another double for Cade Moody. We talked about that win, Scott. Yep. Yeah, he, he misplayed that one from the start. He, uh, you know, always you go back and you come in on the ball, and, and uh, he thought he had it, and it just kept, kept traveling, kept traveling, kept traveling. Got up there in the jet stream, and, uh, you know, it's enjoyable to watch. Uh, you, know, you never know what's going to happen on a day no, like this. No. So Moody hit that ball up in the air on a regular day. That would have probably gotten Richter maybe to third base on a fly ball, but that one just kept carrying in the wind, and no chance for their left fielder. Uh, Harris to get that one, but as Scott mentioned, he didn't play it well. He didn't go back on it right away. Kind of thought it was going to just die out there, and it did anything but die. It just took off. You know, and surprisingly, I thought he would back up a couple steps after that, um, but he, he came right back into where he was at uh, where he was at in the beginning. So. Caden okay, Dubois is at the plate. Takes that one low and outside. 2-0 to count. Caden's got a little pop in his bat. Gets one up in that jet stream, and we may have a 3-0 lead if he gets one to his liking. The pitch from Mills coming home. Low and away. 3-0. and It looks like Mills really doesn't want much to do with Dubois. Yeah, he's definitely he's, he's keeping him low and away, and uh, he's uh, coaches said keep it down there, and he's just struggling to get it there right now. Nobody out. Run in. 1-0 Salem. The pitch comes home. 
Oh, strike on the that outside. That was a good pitch. Corner. There was a, that was where he was looking for. Looked like Cade was taken all the way. Yeah. He's yeah. got the green light now. They give him right center and the right field line. The pitch from Mills. There's a grounder foul towards the Tiger dugout. Three and two to count on a gusty Thursday afternoon. We appreciate you joining us. Salem Tigers with a one nothing lead. Cade Moody with a couple of doubles drove in that run of Trey Richter on that windblown double. And the pitch comes home. Ball four. Didn't know if that hit him or not, and the umpire said ball four, so I'm going with that. So Hamilton will stand in. Owen's got a little pop, too. All right. And again, runners at first and second. We've got the Salem Tigers at the top of their order populating the bases. They've got one run in. Let's see if they can add two. It's still nobody out. Pitch comes in from Mills. There's a high pop-up toward the infield. Waiting for it is Nicholson at second. Reaches up, makes the catch as the infield fly was called. I think Owen got a little anxious. Well, he had the ball going in the right direction. I mean, there was there was a lot of real estate in right center field, and that's where that's where he was looking for. Um, just got under it a little bit. Uh, that one could have carried, and he could have ran for a while. It looked like he kind of lunged at us. So yeah. Maybe a little took a little bit off that ball to get him just out in front enough. One down now. As Corby Ball waits, the pitch to him. Swing and a miss. Took something off. Corby Wee out in front. Yeah, way out in front. Slow to swing down a little bit. Uh, probably the best thing he missed that one. Back up and give him another chance here as, uh, as we get ready to get the pitch. And, uh, you know, he can he can make up for that and be ready. Right-handed batter. That fastball's high. Takes one and one. A base hit, a double run scored, walk. And a pop out. One out, two on, one run in. We're in the bottom of the third inning to pitch the ball. A little bit high with a fastball. Backs up and reloads with a two one count. Uh, you know, uh, again, just a, just a beautiful day out here. If you, you ever have a chance to get out here and watch these boys, it's, it's, it's a fun time to do, and it's a beautiful day to do it. There's a ground, there's actually a tapper off the very end of the bat. He cued it as they was way out in front again. Tell you what, you got to give some credit to Mills, though, Scott. He's changing speeds with his fastball and varying them up a little bit to where guys look like they have that ball measured, and they're hitting it off the very tip end of the bat. Yeah, we've seen a lot of cue balls and, you know, just, just taps like that. So he, he's hanging in there and doing good. 2-2 Two -two pitch comes home. In the dirt. Just missed low. You know, a great thing about summertime, sitting out here looking out the other window stand and, uh, you know, the kids are having fun out here. I'm watching them up. They're over here rolling down the hill. Just uh, there's some get up and roll down the hill and get up and roll down the hill. So they're enjoying the ball game yeah. too. They were doing some races out there the other day. That was really kind of fun. The 3-2 pitch, the ball coming home. That dropped her toward the third base line, but foul. Coach Edwards with a great play. He's already committed a couple errors this year on those kinds. So I guess I have to give him credit when he makes the good one. Yeah, give him a gold, gold glove for today. <laughs> Sun comes back out as he has some clouds darting through. The pitch, swing and a miss. He struck him out yep. on a high fastball. Ball down on strikes for the second time in this game. That is the third strikeout. Four mills, and Sanders will stand in. He struck out his first time up. Two on, two out. Well, like we talked in the first inning, we need to keep this train moving. I mean, we need a hit, we need a walk, we need something to keep the train uh Hit on around the track. So. Fast, fastball goes outside to Hayden Sanders. Catcher thought about throwing to first. Trying to keep him honest down there. Still a pretty good size hole on that right side as Nichols is trying to keep Moody close. He's Going running third. and a high uh -oh. fly ball down the left field line and it's foul and out of play. I, I will say... Harris gave that one a run. He was at full <laughs> speed to get over there in case that ball came back. You know, on a normal day, Scott, no way that ball's coming back. But today, there's a good chance that ball just might find its way back to fair territory. Yeah, and we had, uh, we had the runner going to third. He was, he was taking off, and uh, they had the steal sign going. So. Well, I'll tell you, Cade had a great jump. They were not going to throw him out. He no. had a good lead, a good jump. But the foul ensues, one and one to count. Pitch comes home. Swing and a miss on one up in the eyes of Hayden Sanders. That looked a lot better than it was. 
And he had a mighty cut at it. If you like a high pitch, that one's a hard one to lay off it of. It is. It looks so pretty up there. And I know I can hit that. The one, two, strike three call. Yep. Hayden knew it. Yep. Hayden caught looking on that, thought about something off speed, but didn't get it. He strikes out four strikeouts in the game for Mills, and he has got no strikeouts at some key times in this game. So one run, two hits, no errors, two left. We've now played three. It's Salem Tigers one. They are nothing back in a minute. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel totally protected, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 25%. American Family Insurance. The Bank of Salem was founded in 1883 on the principles of local ownership, a commitment to the people of our community, local decisions, and a conservative approach to banking. As one of the oldest locally owned banks in the Ozarks, we've had the privilege to serve generations of local families. We pride ourselves on dedication to our customers and the people of Dent County, and we take pride in being an important part of it for years to come. The Bank of Salem, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to the Salem High School Baseball Field Complex. Salem up one nothing as Blake Edwards goes back to the hill. I want to thank Scott Schultz for coming in, pinch hitting a little bit today. He'll be bringing you to broadcast Tuesday. As I will be in Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So Devin Harrington will stand in. Harrington playing shortstop today. Tall, lean, right-handed batter. As the top of the inning starts, with Edwards throwing a pitch in and a foul off to the right side. Top of the inning brought to you by Jonas Schaefer. Do you know your credit rating can affect your insurance? It can. Contact Jonah to see how that happens. 729-5165. 729-5165. Jonah Schaefer, your local American family insurance agent. The pitch. High fly ball in a deep left field. It's going to just hang there, though. That's a good job by Corby Ball not to chase it too far. Got it off the end of the bat, and it just hung and did not carry as much as you might have thought it would. And Corby played that one absolutely perfect down in left field. Didn't have that good sound off the bat. And when he hit it off the end of the bat, the ball just kind of died out in left center field. It carried to him, but didn't carry over him. And that's the key. That's a good play by Corby Ball in the outfield to get that read off the sound of the bat, not just off the swing of the hitter. That's always a scary thing. One out and the pitch comes in. A nice curve in first strike. So Harrington flies out to the left and Cooper Clark, their third baseman who popped out to second waits. Edwards, the sign from Sanders, looks in and he's ready and here it comes. There's a tap foul off the very end of the bat. Reaching for that pitch that Blake has sweeping across the plate. One nothing Salem Tigers. A Cade Moody double bringing in Trey Richter with the only run of this game so far. We're in the top of the fourth inning. 0-2 to count. Pitch to Clark. As Edwards shakes off Sanders. And then the batter calls time. Here it comes. Low and outside. Now he calls him out. That's a real long delay on that. That pitch was close. But the umpire with a long delay and then finally calls him out. Strikeout is number five for Edwards. I believe a delay called, but that one was really delayed. 
Well, Thornton will stand in. He hits a high fly ball in the deep left center field. On the run is Moody. He can't get it. That ball is going to be you know, brought back in. Gets away from the shortstop Du Bois, but holding up with a double is Thornton. He went down and got that one. Cade Moody dove, just could not get to it. So that ball kept carrying in the wind. I would say on a normal day. He probably catches that ball, but not today with that wind just escalating it to the deeper part of left center field. So Thornton with a two-out double, the tying run at second base. Caden didn't miss it by much. That would have been a heck of a catch as he got a great jump, just could not get there. And now Boyce stands in. And time is called by Hayden Sanders to go out and talk to Edwards. I think Hayden and Edwards are not on the same page on a couple of calls here. I want to thank our friends at United Country Salem Realty for bringing to you Salem Tiger Athletics. At 605 South Main, Babette Wells, the broker owner, wants to thank all the great customers they've had over the years. And if you need a house, if you want to sell your house, or you need to rent a house, call 729-3148, United Country Salem Realty. The pitch. A little bit low. 2 0. Oh. They're going to have a pinch runner now. Coming in is Jasper Seifert. Jasper Seifert comes in to run. For Thornton, their catcher, so he can get back in and get his equipment back on. Boyce waits. That ball gets away. Cyber trying to go to third, and Sanders just could not get the ball. Picked up back by the screen. Hayden reached for it and then just didn't make connections right away. Otherwise, he'd have had a chance at Cypher. Tying run at third. 3-1 count the pitch. Swing and a miss. Took a little something off, and Boyce chased it. Dom Boyce, DHing today. Two down, three and two is the count. Now they're saying it's not. So they're calling a three and one count. Three one pitch comes home, and that's strike two. Should have just left it alone. Yeah. Three and two. Two down. Pitch from Edwards. Just low and outside. Ball four. For Edwards, that's the second walk. It's given up two hits. Now two walks. And Caleb Tipton will stand in. Tipton struck out his first time. Big left-handed batter. Runners at first and third. Two down. We are in the fourth inning. one nothing Salem Tigers. Pitch comes home. It's a little bit low. They give him left center. Moody plays over just a short way in right center. So there's a big gap out in that left center. Area. And there's a chopper towards Richter at second. Big hop has it, throws to Hamilton to retire the side. No runs, a hit, a walk, two left. We've now played three and a half. To the bottom of the fourth inning we go with the Salem Tigers on top. One to nothing, it's Tiger Baseball on KSMO back in a minute. I'm Dr. Tiffany Bland with Salem Memorial District Hospital. Recently, there have been many changes within our local clinics and hospitals, and you may find yourself looking for a new provider for your children. At SMDH, we would like to reach out to the community to let you know that we do see patients of all ages. Most of our providers are family practice, which means that we have been trained to see well-child visits as well as sick visits. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. 
Duncan Family Chiropractic provides chiropractic care to everyone from newborn to elderly. Dr. Duncan treats wellness, sports injuries, chronic ear infections, pregnancy, and more. Ask Dr. Duncan about your full line of supplements, including Juice Plus and Standard Process Supplements, as well as pain relief, BioFreeze products. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning and a pitching change for the Thayer Bobcats as Colton Mills will now go to short and Harrington will go from short to the pitching mound. So here in the bottom of the fourth, see the swap positions. That's the only thing that I can see out there. So I believe that that is what the call is going to be. So Harrington comes on and he will face the Tigers. Howard Edmund, uh, Blake Edwards and uh, Roy Stevens. For Mills, he goes three innings. He had four strikeouts. He did walk two, and he gave up three hits and a run. That run is earned. Howard stands in, a pitch from Harrington, a good fastball in the outside corner. He's kicking throw hard. Cash lined out to second. They give him right center field to pitch. Line drive in the left center field. That ball's going to clear the head of the outfielder. No, he makes a fine running catch just over his shoulder, reaching up at the last second. Harris with a good job. Ball is hit on the line. It didn't have that wind behind it. Cash hit it hard, but right at the left fielder, Harris. And that's a hard luck out. Thought it might just take off over his head, but Harris just, just turned around in time and got back to make the catch. Edwards will stand in. He's grounded out to short. Good to see Cash going that way with the ball. That's when he's getting his stroke back. The pitch comes in. Edwards fouls it straight back. So again, kudos to Harris battling that breeze that's out there, but that ball is hit on the line, and you don't get that wind effect so much when the ball is hit. Only about 12 to 14 feet off the ground. Edwards waits. The pitch from Harrington comes home. That's a little bit low. One on one to count. Salem will be in Waynesville tomorrow. They'll be on the road at Mountain View Monday. We'll not have either of those games on KSMO Media. We will have the game with St. Clair here next Tuesday. It's that fastball paints over the outside corner. That game will be on KSMO Media. Scott Schultz will be bringing that one to you on the radio and on the media side. Two and two to count on that ball, which eludes the catcher. Thornton reached for it, couldn't make connections. Edwards back in, 2-2 two -two count. One down, bottom of the fourth inning. one nothing Salem Tigers. Harrington brings it. That's on the outside corner for strike three. And Edwards tagged out by Thornton. That ball swept across and first strikeout for Harrington. That was a nice pitch by Devin that caught Edwards. He could not pull the trigger. Stevens popped out to second his first time up. We're in the fourth inning. one nothing game. Salem Tigers with the lead. A pitch coming in. A little bit low and inside, ball one. Straight away infield, outfield plays him a little bit to pull, and that pitch is inside. Gives him a gap in right center field. 2-0 to count to Stevens. Right-handed batter waits. Pitch from Harrington. Just missed outside with a fastball. Harrington trying to paint that corner, just missed it. 3-0 to count, the pitch comes home. That's a good curveball in for a strike. New Life Auto is a great supporter of your Salem Tigers. Remember, if you need to put new life into your auto, check out New Life Auto, 453-4812 on Highway 68, New Life Auto. That pitch is low, Stevens takes a walk, a two-out walk. 
And Trey Richter will stand in, batting for the third time in four innings. We got Cardinal baseball again tomorrow night. They're off tonight. How about the Royals? Six wins in a row. What is going on? Crazy. Pitch to Richter. That's a good pitch on the inside corner for a strike. The Cardinals will be in Arizona Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All those games can be heard on KSMO Media. The 0 1 pitch coming to Trey. Here it is. Chopper to the left side. It's going to be a tough play. Pitch throws across to the first, not in time, as Richter beats that one out. Ball gets away from the first baseman, and making a turn and stopping at third base is Roy Stevens. So an infield single for Trey Richter, and then the throw eludes the first baseman, and Caleb Tifton had to retrieve it. It'll be an error on the third baseman for the low throw that eluded Tipton. So the error will go to Cooper Clark and puts runners at first and third with two out for Caden Moody, who has a couple of doubles in this game. One double down the left field line, one out left center. They give him right center. It's one about the same place out there. He'll get three. Pitch comes home. Uh, strike call for that fastball right at the knees. Cooper trying to keep Stevens close to third. He leaves a little bigger hole on the left side. The pitch, that's another good fastball for strike two. Harrington can throw hard. And he has blistered two fastballs. And Moody looking for something else. The 0-2 pitch, runner going, swinging a foul. Very defensive swing, but keeps alive. Richter was running with the pitch. Richter with a couple of hits in this game. Moody with a couple of hits in this game for Salem. And that's it. Four hits total. Two hits for Thayer. one nothing Salem. The pitch inside just missed. One and two to count. Stevens at third. Trey Richter at first. Moody at the play with a 1-2 count. Harrington from the stretch. Brings it home. Fastball high and away. Harrington a tall drink of water. 6'3", six, 6'4", six, I would guess. And maybe even a little taller. 2-2 two, two to count. Here it comes. Pop fly back. And will it blow back? No, it just falls about two feet short of blowing back into the field of play. Giving it a good look was Thornton. Just never made it. Two and two to count. Two down. Two on. Tigers with a one nothing lead trying to add to it. Cade Moody waits. Pitch. Coming home from a little pop fly on the infield. Backing up and making the catch is the second baseman, Carter Nicholson. Moody got jammed and popped it up, and that retires the side. No runs, one hit, one error, two left. We've now played four. It's the Salem Tigers lead to Thayer Bobcats, one nothing. We're going to come back in a minute. It's Tiger Baseball, KSMO Media. If you have the audacity to believe a financial advisor should talk with you, not at you. If you believe access to your financial advisor should be a right, not a privilege. Join the nearly 7 million investors who think like you do. FaceTime and ThinkTime make a difference. Join us. Join us. At Edward Jones, it's how we make sense of investing. I'm Susie Cahill, Director of Healthy Dent County Fitness Center. Are you looking for a place to begin your journey to better health? Come inside. Never in my life have I been in another atmosphere where everyone was so friendly and eager to help others. It's not just the staff, it's the members. They are so passionate about what they do and so excited to help you. 
If you're ready to begin your journey to better health, come by and see us. Welcome back. We're at the top of the fifth inning. Still a one nothing game. And don't forget, top of the inning brought to you by Jonah Schaefer. He is your American Family Insurance agent. If you have a new driver in the family, make sure you let your agent know. They need to know those things in case there is an accident. Call Jonah at number 79 51 65. First pitch by Edwards sails outside to Dawson Harris. Harris made a good play out in left field on that ball hit by Cash Howard. A line drive right at him. Ball did not take off, and he played it well. State gave it a little bit of little bit of play, but then was able to reach up and make that catch. One and one to count. Dawson Harris ground out to second his first time. That's a fastball up and away. Two and one. Edwards with a couple of walks, five strikeouts. Giving up a couple of hits. The pitch, that's high and away again. Stevens at third, even with the bag. Tigers otherwise straight away. For Harris, the next one. Right down the middle and a swing and a miss. Looked like Harris was not really expecting that pitch. You know, getting some winds gusting out to center field. Three-two pitch coming from Edwards. A swing and a chopper down the third base line. It's foul. Otherwise, that'd have been a base hit. That ball started out fair and then finally just drifted foul by six inches or so. And Roy Stevens picked it up to make sure it was foul. Never known that's going to take a right turn and go back in the field to play. It would then be fair. Right now, 3-2 count. Pitch coming to Harris from Edwards. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Came down at the knees, and Harris swings right through it. Six strikeout for Edwards. I want to thank our friends over at Tater Sporting Goods and Taxidermy for being a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. Taters is right there at the wedge of Highway 19 and 68. So stop on by, pick up the supplies you might need for the weekend. Or if you have any questions about their taxidermy service, they'll be more than happy to help. Your friends at Taters Sporting Goods at Taxidermy, 453 2757 at 18, I'm sorry, 1579 North Highway 19, right there again at the wedge of 68 and 19. 101 our count. Carter Nicholson at the plate as the pitch comes home inside on a straight change. Breezy afternoon in Dent County. Going to be breezy again tomorrow down in Waynesville. Swing and a miss. Tigers will take on the Tigers. 4.30 game time at Waynesville tomorrow. That will not be on KSMO. Choking up on that is Nicholson. He swings and misses, striking out. Seven strikeouts for Edwards. That ball up and in in the upper part of the strike zone, and he really tied up Carter Nicholson with that pitch. And Colton Mills will stand in. Mills has walked and popped out on a heck of a play made by Caden Dubois right down the third base line. Battling the wind, battling the distance, and battling the little lip of the outfield infield. And has a little bit of a rise to it there. He made a heck of a catch. Mills from the left side to 1-0. Grounds it right at Hamilton. He has it. Owen steps on the bag for the out. Four in a row set down by Mr. Blake Edwards, and down in order goes there. One, two, three. We've now played four and a half to the bottom of the fifth we go. It's the Salem Tigers one, and they are nothing. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO back in a minute. I am a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm here to talk about life, your life, your dreams, your work, your family. 
and how you can protect it all with a company that will talk to you with the honesty of a farmer and take care of you with the integrity of a neighbor. I'll make sure no detail is left uncovered so your family can breathe easy. Because just like you, I chose to build a life in Missouri too. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and I'm from Missouri for life. Salem Memorial District Hospital believes that our community deserves the very best health care one could offer. We understand that all physicians need the highest quality images to thoroughly treat each situation. With you in mind, Salem Memorial District Hospital has brought these services home, and that includes our new state-of-the-art MRI. Don't waste your time and money driving long distances. Let us take care of you here at home. Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Welcome back. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Salem Tigers have a one nothing lead. They've had chances to add to that lead or actually have a bigger lead, but... They have not capitalized. They had the bases loaded with one out in the first inning, could not score. They had two on with one out in the third inning, could not score. They had two on in the fourth inning with two out and and uh, could not score. They did score in the third inning on one run, but they did not score any additional runs. The runners in second and third couldn't get them in. And that was with nobody out. And... We have Kane Dubois at the plate. He'll lead it off here in the fifth inning. Dubois, then Hamilton, then Corby Ball. Tigers need a run or two extra. Harrington throws it in there. A fastball up and away. One and one to count. Bottom of the inning brought to you by Willie Strader and Farm Bureau Insurance. For your insurance needs of all types, give him a call. 729-4941 or CM 1414 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. Chopper towards third. Clark. Has it to throw to first, and he is out. He stayed on the bag long enough. 5-3 on the put out, and Owen Hamilton will stand in. The boys grounds out. Devin Harrington on the hill. Mill started, went three innings, three hits, one run, two walks, four strikeouts. Edwards pitching for the Salem Tigers. Seven strikeouts in this game. Two hits, two walks. So some good pitching we've seen in the last two games here in the SCA. Willow Springs and now Thayer Bobcats. Pitch coming home. Curveball, nice pitch. Just missed. Wow, that was right looking like it was on the inside edge. Did not get the call. One and one to count. Pitch coming home. Swing and a miss. Good cut by Owen, but Harrington blew it right by him. Good fastball. Straight away for Hamilton. Right-handed batter. Owen waits. The one-two coming home. Way outside with a fastball. Salem 7-2 on the year. 1-0 and in the conference play. Pitch coming home, curve in the dirt. There, Bobcats have only played five games or two and three on a season. Struggled trying to get some games in, and we know how that can be. Got this one in. Some good work done by the Tigers. And a swing and a miss. Hamilton goes down on strikes. A second strikeout for Harrington. And Ball will stand in. He struck out twice today, both against Col uh, Colton Mills. We are in the bottom of the fifth inning, a one nothing game. SCA contest. Salem 3-0 in the conference. Take a curveball to the outside. A good sweeper right there by Harrington. Broke across the plate. Ball was called out on strikes and went down swinging in the third. That fastball just outside. Ball right-handed batter deep in the box. He waits. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. 
Harrington with that long, lean look. It doesn't look like he's really even working hard at pitching, and all of a sudden the ball just explodes out of his hand. That pitch, a curve in the dirt, goes back to the screen. For Thayer to be Pitts, Harrington, and Clark coming up in that sixth inning. One nothing Salem Tigers. Two and two to count. To ball. Two down the pitch. Fast ball outside. And third baseman Clark started in for the dugout. He goes, that wasn't a strike? No, it was not, sir. It is a 3-2 count now in the pitch. There's a ground ball right at you, Clark. He has it. The throw to first is right on the money. To retire the side. 5-3 on the putout. Nothing down for the Salem Tigers. They go down in order. One, two, three in the fifth inning. We've now played five full. It's the Salem Tigers leading the Thayer Bobcats one to nothing. We'll come back in one minute. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. There's a place for do-it-yourselfers with everything for your Find these spring deals at KNH All Supply. Come on, intake valve cleaner for $12.99 for the 11 ounce size. Blue Devil Oil Stop Leak only $14.49. And Blue Devil Head Gasket Sealer for $29.99. Come on by today at KNH All Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store here in Salem. Park City. Yeah, Park City. Park City. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center in Salem is here for all of your veterinary needs. From your house cat to a herd of cattle, Dr. Cunningham and her expert staff are here to help. Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center is committed to providing your animals with the highest level of care and support. Schedule an appointment today for checkups, boarding, surgery, supplies, or even 24-7 emergency services for established clients. Stop by or call in today and get the veterinary care that your pets deserve. Welcome back to the Salem High School Baseball Field Complex. Blake Edwards back to the hill. Right-handed pitcher trying to shut down this Thayer Bobcat team. As we mentioned, two, three, and four in their order will be coming up. I want to thank all of our friends that bring you Salem Tiger Sports like Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center Incorporated. You saw their ad if you were streaming with us on the video side. And, of course, we always thank Ashley Cunningham and all the great work that they do out there. 729-4031. Be it your pets or your livestock, count on them at Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center, Incorporated. 900 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard. Pitts will stand in. He struck out twice facing Blake Edwards. Edwards, working from the stretch, brings it home. Pitches low and away. Umpire somewhat cleans off home play with a foot sweep. Sun coming back out after being disguised by a few clouds here moments ago. Puts the left fielder in third base and shortstop right in the sun field. Pitch comes home. Swing and a miss. One on one to count. Easton Pitts, center fielder today for the Thayer Bobcats. They trail a one to nothing over the, the Salem Tigers with the lead. Pitch comes home. The man's going to bunt. That's going to be a base hit. Unless Sanders can throw him out. He does. Wow. Hayden with a bullet gets it right down there and barely gets Pitts out. That's a heck of a throw. Didn't know if Hayden was able to get that ball down there in time. Pitts, who's got some speed, is throwing out two, three. It was almost a perfect bunt, but it checked up a little bit short, allowed Sanders to get to it, and he's got the arm. And he was able to get it over there right by the ear of the runner, Easton Pitt. Standing in is Harrington. He takes one a little bit low. Ball one. Harrington is singled and flown out to left on a ball he just missed. The pitch inside, 2-0. Caught it off the end of the bat. And Corby Ball able to track it down. The 2-0 pitch comes home. There's a high fly ball in the right center. There's nobody out there, and that's going to get down and 
get cut off by Moody right by the fence. Harrington makes the turn but holds at second base with a double. Tigers gave him right center field, and that's where he took it. A one-out double, and Cooper Clark will stand in. Harrington had thoughts of going to third. The Tigers got the relay back in, and it had been questionable on them making that choice with one out and down by one with the sixth inning here. You're in scoring position as Cooper Clark stands in. He's popped out to second and struck out. Edwards looks in to Hayden Sanders. He gets the sign, looking at second base, steps off. Everybody shielding their eyes from the sun, looking back that way. Pitch comes home. Curveball in for a strike. Nice off-speed pitch. Clark looking for something else. Took it all away. Du Bois trying to keep Harrington close. He's going to pitch a chopper towards short. Big hop to Du Bois to throw the first is in time, and Harrington... Thought had thoughts about trying to come home. So Clark out six to three on the put out. Harrington was running. And he got to third base in plenty of time to threaten to come down the line. And he did make the big turn. Coach Tony Edwards coming out to talk to Blake and the infield. A runner at third, two down. That's the tying run. Mason Thornton, their catcher, is at the plate. He has a double in this game, and he has flown out to right. Real quick reminder, don't forget, we will have Salem Tiger baseball again on KSMO next Tuesday when the St. Clair Bulldogs will be in town. We'll have that game on KSMO radio. AM 1340, FM 95.7, and also on our KSMO stream. That's KSMORadio.com, KSMO stream Facebook, and KSMO YouTube. The games tomorrow at Waynesville and the one on Monday at Mountain View will not be carried on KSMO due to prior commitments. Scott Schultz will be bringing you that game on Tuesday against St. Clair right here on KSMO. I want to thank him for filling in. The pitch comes in, a swing and a miss. Mighty hack at one up in the eyes of catcher Thornton. Well, he didn't get cheated on that swing, I'll tell you that. Oh, one to count. Next one from Edwards. That's right on the in inside corner at the knees. Heck of a pitch. Beautiful pitch. And Thornton could not cut it loose. Oh, and two. Harrington at third. That's the tying run. From the stretch, the pitch comes home. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Nice pitch on the inside edge. And Thornton goes down on strikes. That is strikeout number eight for Edwards. No runs. A hit. No errors. One man left. We've now played five and a half. To the bottom of the six we go. The Salem Tigers won. They are Bobcats. Nothing. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. It's only because of our incredible sponsors that we're able to bring you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Some of these sponsors include United Country, Salem Realty, Babette Wells, Broker Owner. Stop by their office located at 605 South Main Street. New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more. On the Spot Auto Glass, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door. Progressive Ozark Bank's debit card is now ready for your smartwatch or phone. It's compatible with Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Samsung Pay. Just upload it to your mobile wallet and go. No more fumbling to find your card when you're in a hurry. Just tap and pay. Simple, easy, and secure. That's the progress of local banking. Progressive Ozark Bank. FDIC insured. Where people matter. We go to the bottom of the sixth. 
Salem Tigers with a one nothing lead over the Thayer Bobcats. Harrington back to the hill. Thornton finally gets his catching gear on, and we want to thank everybody for joining us for this SCA game. We got a little bit of a late start due to the wet overnight conditions, but Athletic Director Clay Moody and a little bit of diamond dry and a lot of work got the field ready to go. I want to thank them for getting all the opportunities to let us play today. And you know, as we were talking with Scott earlier, there's just not many days left between now and districts to where you can fit it in. And that's that becomes the issue is when are you going to play those games? So right now the Tigers really have a not many open dates left down the stretch. And then, of course, then you get in the situation of pitching. How many times can you throw a guy and – or how many innings can you get out of a guy and right now? Uh, with these new pitching rules, it really makes it difficult. So you have to usually throw some guys who just aren't really what you would call pitchers and expose them to possibly getting hurt. So anyway, you don't want to do that. Hayden Sanders stands in the sixth inning. He leads it off. He'll be followed by Cash Howard and Mr. Blake Edwards. The pitch to Hayden. He grounds this one towards short. Mills has it. His throw to first base is in time. 6-3, Cash Howard lined out hard to left, and he also lined out to second. So he's had two good swings in this game and hit the ball hard both times, but both times right at somebody. Those things have a way of evening out. Never feels that way, though. <laughs> you crush a ball, you should get a hit, right? You should. Anyway, he's standing in. Left-handed batter of the pitch, outside fastball. Four strike right on the corner. Bit of a wide corner, but a corner nonetheless. Pitch to Cash. Swing and a miss on the ball, same place. And his swing doesn't come that far. But he had to chase it because it was called a strike the last time. 0 and 2 to count. Next one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on three fastballs. Howard down on strikes. So Edwards will stand in, two quick outs, and I mean quick, here in the bottom of the sixth inning. In the seventh for Thayer, it will be their D.H. Don Boyce and then Caleb Tipton and Dawson Harris. Pitch coming into Edwards, fastball, just a little high. 1-0 to count. Edwards waits, the right-handed batter. Takes it on the outside corner for a strike. Well pitched game here by both teams. Working Harrington brings it in. Chopper up the middle. Mills gets to it. Has it to throw to first base. It's in time. 6-3 on that put out. Down in order go to Salem Tigers. Salem has watched seven in a row go down to Harrington. And down in order in the sixth, they go one, two, three. We got a seventh inning. It's one nothing Salem Tigers, and we'll come back in one minute. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Every project is different, which is why Salem Trust uses modern engineering software to design, then construct quality trusses for your home, barn, or business. The size of the job doesn't matter, but the quality of the work does, which is why Salem Trust will deliver their trusses anywhere. Proud to support the Salem community, they're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 4.30 and Friday from 7.30 until 11. For more information, call Salem Trust at 729-9276. Southwest Baptist University campus in Salem provides quality higher education close to home for residents of Dent County and the surrounding areas. The classes at SBU Salem campus are taught in the afternoon and evenings, making a degree attainable for people who are in the workforce or can't afford to go off to get a degree. We offer degrees in nursing, which is an RN bridge program, elementary education. For more information on the degrees and programs, please contact admissions counselor Chris Welch to schedule an appointment as a prospective or returning student. Well, we have some player personnel changes as Roy Stevens will go to the hill and take over for Edwards. Wins six innings, three hits, no runs, no earned runs, two walks, eight strikeouts. 
Trey Richter goes from second base to shortstop. And Caden Dubois goes from, uh, no, he doesn't. He stays right there. Richter goes from second to short. Dubois goes from short to third. And then it's Blake Edwards going from first, uh, from pitcher to second base. Well, a shout out to Wave Internet. Wave Technologies, they help bring you our stream. Really do appreciate them and providing us with the opportunity to bring you that stream right through the game. We hope you're all enjoying that courtesy of Wave Internet. Also want to thank our friends at Ozark Overhead Door for that score buck. It's at the bottom. Flash it, Ben. There you go. You see the bases are all lit up. Anyway, we appreciate Zane and the gang down there. If you need a new garage door, new garage door opener, maybe you need new remotes to open. Yeah, he can get those too and get them all programmed for you. Zane at Ozark Overhead Door bringing you our scorebook and your instant replay brought to you by Hubs Tire Center right here in Salem on Highway 19, right in the heart of Salem, Mo, across from the radio station. Hubs Tire bringing you today's instant replay. Don't forget our post-game show coming up very shortly, brought to you by Fine W Boutique and the Looking Glass Salon. One inning away. Can Roy Stevens shut down Thayer here? It is boys to stand in. Salem Tigers shut out Willow Springs Tuesday, 5-0. They have shut out Thayer so far in this game, 1-0 to pitch. Fastball for a strike by Stevens. Right-handed pitcher gets ready, throws another one in, and another one painting that inside corner. Bobcats trying to get somebody on base. The 0-2. That's strike three. Boys never moved the bat. He's called out on strikes. First strike out for Stevens, and Caleb Tipton will stand in. Tipton is grounded out and struck out. Left-handed batter, big, big left-handed batter. The pitch comes home, swing and a miss. Had a good cut. Ball tailed away. Nice pitch by Stevens. Had that ball just busting outside. Another fast ball. This one just a smidge low. One on one to count. One down. Moody switches over. Starts playing him a little bit towards left center. That pitch comes in. A ground ball towards short. Big hop to Richter to throw the first. is right on the money. 6-3 on that put out. And it'll be Harris to stand in. The last hope for the Thayer Bobcats. Two down here in the seventh inning. It's been a well-pitched game, a three-hit game for the Salem Tigers. Uh, three-hit pitching for the Salem Tigers in this one. But they haven't hit a whole bunch more. They only have four hits themselves. Pitch just off the inside corner. Harris has struck out, grounded out. The 1-0. Fastball strike, outside corner. The top of the inning brought to you by Jonas Schaefer and American Family Insurance. Get your best options on life insurance coverage. 79-5165. Roy paints it again. Same pitch, same place, same result. One and two. Tigers trying to get that fourth win in the SAA. They get it on the strikeout. Steven strikes him out. His second strikeout. Nothing across for the Thayer Bobcats in the seventh inning. And the Salem Tigers win it by a final score of one to nothing over the Thayer Bobcats. You don't see a lot of these games anymore. And I'll tell you what, well-pitched game by both teams. And you really have to admire the Thayer Bobcats. They got a very young team, but they played well. But lost it to Salem by a score of one to nothing. They fall to two and four in a year. Salem. 8-2 and two now and 4-0 and oh in the SCA Conference. We'll come back in three minutes with some stats on this one. Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. Southtown Furniture. Southtown where the bargains are. We've got everything.
legacy. Protect it, prosper, and pass it on. Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, specializes in real estate, estate planning, probate, family law, and business law. A Salem native, Stephen Patterson provides comprehensive representation to clients throughout Southern Missouri. If you need assistance, contact Stephen Patterson, attorney at law, at 573-453-2529. surprisingly great rates contact your local state farm agent today if you want the real deal call state farm agent cameron Irway in salem today like a good neighbor state farm is there with tax season fast approaching you might have some questions that you need answered if so give the tax masters a call They have over 40 years of experience and can handle all types of accounting services plus certified e-filing. Don't ever let yourself be a slave to the IRS. Come and see Jackie or Beth at Taxmasters located at 107 West 4th Street here in Salem or call 729-3001. Tarot Complete Auto Care is a full-service auto repair center in Salem. They offer full-service oil changes as well as $2 discounts on Tuesdays for all ladies, and Wednesday is Senior Citizen Day. Plus, Tarot Complete Auto Care can take care of all your auto and diesel repair needs. They offer free pickup and delivery in town. James and Sheena and the staff of Tarot Complete Auto Care are proud to support the Salem Tigers. This is Mike Elliott from Town & Country Insurance. As an independent agent, we shop many different companies allowing us to find the best value for our clients. Town & Country Insurance has been serving South Central Missouri since 1963. We have offices in Salem, Rolla, Licking, and Mountain Grove and would welcome an opportunity to show you what we can do for you. Stop by 400 West Scenic River Boulevard located inside the Town & Country Bank or you can call our office at 729-6624. Well, back-to-back shutouts for the Salem Tigers. 5-0 Tuesday over Willow. 1-0 over the Thayer Bobcats today. Outstanding pitching by Blake Edwards. And then Roy Stevens getting a save coming in and striking out two to three batters he faced. Salem wins it by a final score of 1-0. Only one error in the game. And that was on the shortstop on a ball that was blown around. It kind of hit him right in the gut, bounded away. And that was the uh, error in the contest. Otherwise, this was a well, well played game. And in the windy conditions, it was a uh, very good job by both the teams to really play an outstanding ball game. And uh, it's unfortunate for Thayer. Uh, they played so well, but just one run on a fly ball by Cade Moody that got up in the wind and uh, definitely fell in between the outfielders who were playing a little bit shallow. He got enough of it to get it up there, and that wind blew it, and it gave him the two uh, the, the uh, two bases and the RBI back in the third inning, the only RBI in the game, as Salem wins it by a score of one to nothing. So for Edwards, six innings, three hits, no runs, two walks, eight strikeouts. Stevens to save, one inning, two strikeouts. So that's it, and the Salem Tigers finish with a total of four hits in the game, and two of those hits. Uh, were made, well, two hits were made by Trey Richter, two hits by Cade Moody. That's it. That's the only hits the Salem Tigers had. They did have some other batters on via the walk. They were given a total of four walks in the game. I think I have uh, three on there, but it actually was four. I forgot that Harrington did walk one as well. So, anyway, nonetheless, but, uh, yeah, not that big a deal. But, yeah, four walks in the game, seven strikeouts against the Salem Tigers. Mills, three innings, three hits, one run. It was earned. Two walks, four strikeouts. Harrington, three innings, one hit, two walks, three strikeouts. And Mills, the loser in the contest. An excellent ball game today. Hope you had a chance to enjoy it. A one nothing win for the Salem Tigers. I mentioned just two hits uh, for Trey Richter and Cade Moody. That was the only offense Salem had. They did have chances in the game to win it, uh, really extend their lead earlier. 
did not get that done in the first inning. And the bases loaded, one out, could not score. Corby Ball struck out. Hayden Sanders struck out in the third inning after Richter got the base hit. Moody got a, uh, his base. It was a grounder to second, by the way, that the second baseman fielded. But the first baseman had left to go get the ball, and nobody was there. Then Moody hit that RBI double. The walk to Dubois was second and third, or first and second. We had nobody out, and the Tigers did not get a, another run. And really, no other really scoring effort opportunity happened for Salem. They did get two on in the fourth inning, first and second, and uh, did not score. But for Thayer, really... Uh, not much of anything. They had one on in the first inning, a two-out base hit. They had a two-out walk in the third. They had two on in the fourth inning on a double by Thorne and then a walk to uh, Boyce. But uh, that was the, their biggest rally. And then a sixth inning, a, a one-out double by Devin Harrington. He went to third on a grounder to Two boys, and I really had visions of him because he was off running with the pitch of him making the turn and coming home. He did not. He stuck it out of third base, and uh, he was there with two out, and then Thornton struck out. So Tigers win it by a score of one to nothing. Again, I can't stress enough, two well-played games by Salem back-to-back here and getting two straight shutouts against SCA opponents. They're now 8-2, and 4-0 and in the SCA, while Thayer falls to 2-4 and four overall. And I believe 0-3 in the SCA. But they, that was a well-played game by both teams. So we hope you enjoyed this contest. We're going to take a one-minute break and come back and wrap it up. It's Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. No matter what, every morning, farmers go to work doing what needs done. The work is unforgiving. The days are long real long. They nurture, they grow, they harvest. When the day is done, sell the fruits of your labor to your neighbors on Town Street. (laughs) It's only because of our incredible sponsors that we're able to bring you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. Some of these sponsors include New Life Auto, Taters Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more, On the Spot Auto Glass, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door. Be sure to thank these sponsors the next time you see them for bringing you Salem Tiger Sports and community events. And welcome back to Salem High School Baseball Field Complex. No JV game today. So we uh, have a one nothing win, Salem Tigers over Thayer. And we hope you enjoyed the contest. Again, Salem will be at Waynesville tomorrow. We'll not have that game on KSMO Media due to prior commitments that we made. And then also Monday's game at Mountain View will not be on KSMO uh, due to prior commitments that I have made uh, with my old college hockey team. So... We're getting together a 50-year anniversary, and that's just something that doesn't happen very often. So that uh, is going to take priority. And then Scott Schultz will be here to bring you the game Tuesday against St. Clair. And that will be our next broadcast on KSMO AM 1340 FM 95.7 and also being streamed on KSMO Media on the video stream next Tuesday against St. Clair. For Chris, the back of the station, for Ben on the video side, my name is Stan Stevens. Thanking you for joining us for Tiger Baseball on KSMO Media. We hope you enjoyed the contest. And again, no game tomorrow, no game Monday. We will be back on Tuesday. Scott Schultz with the broadcast with St. Clair right here from the Salem High School Baseball Field Complex. Have a great evening and weekend, and good night from the high school baseball field. Thank you for watching this KSMO Media broadcast of Salem Tiger Sports. This game was brought to you by K&H Auto Supply, Salem Memorial Hospital, Farm Bureau Insurance, Salem Memorial Clinic, Country Mart, The Bank of Salem, Napa, Muni Auto Supply, Town Screen LLC, Taxmaster, Town & Country Insurance, Southwest Baptist University, Salem Campus, Terrell Complete Auto Care, Edward Jones, Duncan Family Chiropractic, State Farm Insurance, Salem Trust Manufacturing, Progressive Ozark Bank, Stephen Patterson, Attorney at Law, Mid-Ozark Animal Health Center Incorporated, 
Southtown Furniture, Healthy Dent County, New Life Auto, Cater's Sporting Good and Taxidermy, Melvin Motors and more, On the Spot Auto Glass, United Country Salem Realty, American Family Insurance, The Technology Junkyard, Looking Glass Salon, Flying W Boutique, Hubs Tire Center, and Ozark Overhead Door LLC.